Today we are talking about a thing, a very important part of any electrical installation. Why do I say so? This is a path whereby excess and harmful electrical charges will find their way to the ground and once in the ground connect back to the source which is the transformer before it gets back again to the circuit as safe electricity now today we are learning a lot concerning this aspect and i will be taking you through the same smash the like button all right now for this case here i have this meter box my client had asked me to check the earthing system the earthing system had an issue now i would want to upgrade it already we have an earthing system for this house as you can see uh using this pipe here there is an earth connection that is below here and there is an earth road that was actually immersed in that ground but my guess is as right as yours because you know what this ground probably has failed in terms of conductivity of electricity to the earth remember a perfect earthing must ensure that the charges that will flow all the way to this electric earth rod is actually dissipated to the ground meaning the conductivity of the ground that is in contact with it must be very very perfect to allow the charges to find their way to the ground now there is also a need for regular inspection so this part here does not have a place where you can do regular inspections as well as do several maintenance and checkups in case there is any problem now let us discuss something that is very important which is the ground where you have to install this earth road i want you to work with me on various surfaces in this compound where we will be talking about the conductivity of electricity from the earth road to the ground as you see here this is a very hard place because of the cement and everything so this definitely is not on our list of a good conductivity area so when we look at this ground here this ground is somehow wet and it is basically a good area where conductivity is high and uh, we are considering having an earth road either here or we can add it on that uh, ground now let me know what is your idea must we strain on a specific location or is it good to have it where it will easily conduct the charges to the ground let me have your comments on the comment section so here we have this ground at this point we have a lot of sunshine meaning the ground is dry now if you compare these parts here where we have a lot of sunshine and that part there which has a lot of shadow from our tree there is a difference because once there is water there or once rains uh, fall on that area it in automatically increases the conductivity of that uh, soil compared to this part here so come with me let me show you other areas that we can study and are of importance to us concerning this earth connection this is cement if we decide to have it at a place such as this one it means that we will have to dig a pit and add a lot of materials these materials are for instance salt 
sand and charcoal if we were doing this earthing here. Again, there is this ground here which is not entirely cement and if you can follow me also on this area here, we have this ground which has a lot of rocks. We are not sure whether the rocks are covering a bigger chunk deep inside this earth section where we need to have our earth road. Now, for us, if we want to have it here, then to mean that we will dig this part and create an earth pit where we will have a lot of materials to be added. Because if at all the conductivity of this place will not be good enough for the purpose of earthing, we definitely do that. So for us, because we have options, we don't really need to strain ourselves here. Come with me, let me show you another important area where we can have our earth road instead of struggling with an earth pit. Now, we are here in this farm here of my client and also my friend and when you look at this part here it is covered by these bananas this simply means that most of the times this area is covered by the banana shadows that implies that even the ground once it rains or after a very long time the ground is still wet So let me take this part here and try to dig or probably expose or show you the nature of the soil that is here to confirm that most of the time it is wet and the wetness in the soil definitely improves conductivity. Also, the type of the soil matters a lot. You can see it is very soft. I'm not even using a lot of effort to get it done soil here is very very soft and i can simply use my hands and excavate this part here you will not be gone too far and you will start seeing the soil is actually changing i can even feel some wetness or some cold i can feel some cold in my hands so this also shows that it is also another ideal location or place that we can have our earth road. But since it is in the middle of the farm, you definitely cannot have your earth road here because of the activities that may be happening here. There is a time that there will be farming and the farm tools might actually puncture the earthing connection or the earth wire that is conducting these charges to the earth road or probably can be cut meaning that that home is not safe from electrical charges that is why we cannot have it at a place such as this one so that was just to demonstrate to you and show you that ideal places for earthing are places where you don't need to improve the conductivity of earth conduction of electricity. In this place, because we have a lot of options, let me go and show you the best option that we can have our earth road where we can have it installed properly. Come with me. Now, at this point, we have this meter box here. And this was the initial place where there was a meter box, where the power cable was dropping. 
and the earth connection was installed here by my predecessor electrician but since it is no longer serving its purpose we will have to upgrade now an ideal place for me to have that earth road definitely is here under this meter box then if we have it here this is a better place because most of the times this area is covered by the shadow from this wonderful mango tree meaning that this soil here is also a better material whereby charges can easily be conducted from the earth road dispatched or dissipated to the earth now even if i try to use a lot of force and energy this place is very much ideal if you can come closer you discover one thing that indeed this soil here has a lot of moisture and our goal is to ensure that we have a lot of moisture whereby athrod will be able to conduct properly with the charges So now what you are seeing here is wet ground this ground is very wet whereby you can have the conductivity made very simple now at this point here it tells me that this is perfect place for me to have my earth road and if i have it here i will not necessarily require to have salt the industrial salt or to have charcoal or to have sand and everything that people use because here it will simply do the work that it is in, intended to now what will i do for that just a moment let me get the right tools and also show you how we will do that procedure very effortlessly so at this point that i have here I will add some water even with my hand you can see without even hitting it already it is sinking in without using a lot of force now i can go ahead and use these to heat it so it is so simple for me to simply have it go all the way in but the trick here is to continue adding water just like so notice how easier it is for me to use my hands without applying a lot of force when i'm getting the earth road in i don't really necessarily use the hammer at some point i'm just using the hand like so and so it is important for me to keep on doing that so that the surrounding of this is actually water logged we'll also add some more water so where i experience some hardship i simply use my hammer to get past it again this is an important point for you to note that i don't necessarily need to improve the conductivity of electricity to this ground here especially here because my earth here or my ground here or the soil tells me that it will be easier 
for it to conduct electricity charges to the ground. See, not using a lot of force, meaning there are no hard drops inside. Now, having connected our earth road, we are sure that everything is okay. Now, what we want to do at this point is to ensure that we have this pit proper. our earth road in the ground and ensure that everything is okay what i will do more is to ensure that i cover this area here so that this wire that is coming through this conduit from our meter box is inside of our pit and the cover will also have a lid whereby to check here and to also take the readings but in the meantime i will ensure that i connect my wire here important to note also is to ensure that i do not screw on the insulation Notice that I've backfolded my wires to ensure that it has a high surface area conductivity with this copper rod so that it will ensure that all the excessive charges flow to this copper rod here. Now, in regards to that earth connection, we will do more of videos in regards to how I will do that pit as well as the connection at the cutout. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so that you will not miss that episode. Now smash the like button if you have found value in this episode. See you in the next video. My name is John. Goodbye.